think 16 of 18 greens yesterday. Oh, found the green and nearly the hole at 12. Well, right. Having to hit it into the hill. This would be incredible. Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> there is nothing Rose Zhang can't do. Oh, nicely oh. done. All right, that sets up a fantastic birdie opportunity for Lydia Ko. It's great to see. She said just even having a round like yesterday, get some confidence back uh, after not playing as well as she is accustomed and uh, what we're accustomed to seeing. And what a shot. Oh, oh. I was going to cry if that didn't get enough legs, but that just fell over the edge. If she's just not hitting it far enough into the big part of the green, those false fronts are really gonna come into play like we've seen. Lydia, back at 17. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, there's a reason she leads the tour in scrambling. Well, I think she is fairly good at it. A hole out for Lydia Ko, her third birdie in four holes lifts her to six under par, now just three back of the lead. 90 yards for all three of these players. They all laid up to the exact same number. Ooh. Oh, nicely done. We'll take her to 10 under par, and then at the third, her second. She go to one of the hardest holes on the golf course, playing about a half stroke over par today alone. Golf course long and wet. What a beauty. Oh, <laughs> you said that was a hard to read putt, but wow, she did her homework and that that's I'm predicting it. Not I'm predicting that's going to be on the highlight reel. You referenced that scoring average yesterday and so far today, Randy. Wonderful shot there, birdie the par three eight. So she's 11 under total, two behind Rosang. Watch Nasa here get her second shot. Excellent wedge shot there from Nasa. I haven't seen anybody really challenge that flag back there. Yeah, we mentioned cut. Eight paces from that right-hand side, but not a lot behind it either. There's a excellent shot there from Jin Young Ko. Right now, as Nasa gets ready, hit her second. Excellent wedge shot there. Yeah, she has a bag full of hybrids and Fairway Woods. Um, oh. Are we going to have something flashy? Oh, wow. It looks like the hybrid was the right decision. That's all been resolved. And in fact, Georgia Hall had a wonderful shot from the left rough. But a much simpler effort here from Sagchum opening up the flag. And this looks very good. Set up open, trying to fade it towards the hole. What? It nearly landed in the oh, hole. Looks like it's about four or five inches. This is from 113. Cool breeze off the right. And this whole location is tucked tight left. And we saw from the other groups how much that bunker on the right can really just suck the golf balls in if they're not careful. But she took a very oh, aggressive well line and really was rewarded. Pick the target just a smidge right to that flag. Maybe try to keep it under the wind a little bit, Karen, and got ahead of it. She's set up way left here, Tom. Almost at that volunteer back left of the green. 
She took it over those trees. I'm not sure she wanted to start it that far right, but it is bang on line. What a shot there. Oh. A moment ago, Minji Lee at 10. This is from 125. A bit of helping wind. And now Nelly. And the ball is actually sitting quite down in that divot. And this is a wedge, just trying to dig this one out. That's the smart play to air on the short side, but really you can kind of tell she played that a little bit back on her stance, trying to get a little bit steeper. And now our co-leader Sackstrom at 13. Yeah, playing quickly because uh, Polly Mack went to the bathroom there. So playing out of turn. And this one just right of the flag with a nine iron. She was fortunate, Morgan. She was past that tree, so it didn't have any tree trouble. It's a huge drive from Sackstrom. She is 82 from the pen. Then. And when there's a par five, oh, beautiful shot. Just stops it on the number. When there's a par five, that is clearly not reachable. Yeah, you very seldom. Karen, see her really step on anything. It's just a little left of her target. How about the staggering number? When she hits the fairway this year, she's hitting the green in regulation, 84. She's got a good lie in the bunker, but once the ball lands on the green, it's going to be all downhill towards the hole. With the really wet sand, just that much harder to control the release. At 16, where par is always a good score, Marina Alex has this long one from just on the fringe. Hardest toll on the course, playing half a stroke over par today. She made a long one for birdie here yesterday. Not quite going to get there today, but. Here is LPGA rookie Gurleen Kaur from the Houston area. All right. That will help. Played collegiately at Baylor University, and so she creeps a little closer to the cut line, which remains at even par. So you can kind of hopefully do homework ahead of time and know those tricky putts. Uh, but when, oh, oh, again, from Skulkul from long range, she, she is on away. fire with this putter. Motomi LeBlanc, let's watch this with our top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance. Whole location right on the front center today, very accessible with these soft conditions. Aha. Uh -huh. And 25 the first day, 27 the second day. And today, of course, the golf course is playing tough out there, Tom. Yeah, it was eight iron for Saxham, and it was a really good one. So having to hit a hybrid into this par four. And she kind of made a funny face, like, I don't know about that one. Yeah. But I do. That was really good. It worked <laughs> out. And it keeps getting better. Very nice. This is Germany's Alexandra Firsterling, rookie on the LPGA Tour. She's got a win in the U.S. this year, but it was a ladies' European tour victory. Here is the most recent winner a couple of weeks ago in L.A., Hannah Green. She's the best player in women's golf not named Nelly Corda. This could be pretty good. Just lands it barely into that false front. A little finesse swing for her. You see that just almost just a three quarter swing there. Yeah. I always had a feeling though, if I was closer, if I was way off and it really didn't matter. All right, that was Grace Kim sticking it in there close at 17. 